All right, guys. Today, we're going to turn the settings down to enjoy. We're going to do a quick run through of all the bosses using some different builds here and there. And we're going to pop a sin potion, use some revive scrolls to speed up the process. At the end, I'm going to show you a chest specific to each boss, full of all their potential loot drops and all the enchants associated with them. So, let's jive, Togies.
With 11 current bosses in game and more on the way, we shall now reveal the chest for all the possible loot drops and enchants that I found while farming the bosses. Let's go take a look. It's a Crimson Dragon. Depending on the world level now, after the April update, he can get Iron Ore, Platinum, Diamond. You'll get Dragon Scales with or without the Flameful Enchant. They can drop Bone Meal and Rare Metal, all with Crimson Dragon Enchant. For the Bone Dragon, we have Primordial Eternal Immortal Bone Dragon, as all possible enchants on a level 7 island. So you can drop Fangs, Bones, Iron Ore of those varying enchants, Adamantite, Horns, and Bone Meal of the Enormous Beast as well. Our Ancient Golem and Stone Golems. Our Stone Golems will drop the Memory Pieces, Wisdom, Piece of the Eleventh, and Piece of Vampirism. You probably don't want Memory slipping on there, so you might not want to use a Sin Potion to go collect these. The Ancient Golem can also drop rematching Ancient Veteran Adventurers on the highest level island at the moment. And then Stone Golem and Lava Golem here, of course. Maybe a little more defense here and there. For King Mono! You can find him open world as a Prince Mono, and if there's four or five Monos surrounding him, then he will turn into a King Mono. Otherwise, you may still be able to find him in a dungeon. I ha it's been a while since I found him in a dungeon, so good luck there. Uh, but he can drop King Mono's Air Crown. He can drop the lovable Wise Ruler King Mono Crown. Uh, and he also drops all this Mono Fluid. Terrific. And our first uh, token. So yeah, that was pretty neat to see. Let me go grab the other crown for you real quick. The other crown that... King Mono has the potential to drop. Lovable Wise Ruler King Mono. So yeah, pretty nifty. You can farm a couple times over. Hopes and dreams you get it. That'll cover our Crimson Dragon, our Bone Dragon, our Ancient Golem, and our King Mono. So on to the next update, which included the Executioner and the Reaper boss. So the Executioner. Big lizard with axes. Uh, I found mine in the desert, and lizards spawn in the desert, as goblins spawn in like valleys and plain grass areas. So maybe try going to the desert to find your executioner. Uh, red eyes fang, red eyes purging leather, red eyes purging talon. He also drops the sinful executioner scales or the regular executioner scales, and token of the executioner. Still have no idea what these are for, but neat. Or the reaper boss. More of a magic build. He's gonna drop the Ruler of Indigo Underworld Bones, Ruler of Indigo Underworld Glass, Ruler of Indigo Ruler of Indigo Teal Glass, and then he also has three scythes he can drop: Ruler of Indigo Underworld, Ruler of Indigo Teal, Rule Indigo Flame Ruler of Indigo Underworld. I haven't seen a teal variation of this, and he also has the Shadowful Reaper Spirit. So this is how you make the magic Hell Armor. And, of course, our token. So, again, neat. After that update, we got the Griffin and the Lizard Gunner. The Griffin! Again, great opportunity for magic build and getting your own pair of wings. Excellent. Uh, so, he's going to drop a potential of the Protector of the Golds, Never Ending Sky, Griffins. And, yes, he can drop wings with the full stack enchant on it. He also drops a legendary 12-star sword, as well as an epic 10-star sword. And you can refine these guys up to Kai-99. So that is a solid choice. Uh, with the Griffin Feathers specific for making the wings, again, he can get up to all three enchants, protect the Protector of the Gold's Neverending Sky Griffin. And the same thing with the standard Bird Feathers. So it gives you lots of opportunities for many different crafting options for magic builds. Neat. Our Lizard Gunner, the first boss to drop Black Gunpowder. Uh, if you have enough Scroll Potions and Sin Potions, it might be worth farming, but by the time you're killing this guy easy enough, you've probably already made it to the last era. He also drops these Western Hats. They can range from the four enchants you see here to a variation of Gunslinger, Gunslinger Bouncer, and Gunslinger Bouncer's Hollow Point. 
and then Gunslinger Bouncer Quick Draw Hollow Point would be the final variation and the best to look out for. He also drops Hard Leather that you can make your own hat, but I haven't seen anything other than Gunslinger and Gunslinger Bouncer. So, again, neat. Nice, that is eight of our bosses. Um, the February update brought the remaining three. So we have Finrir, Fleur, and the Tyrant Snake. So for Fenrir, he's going to drop some fangs with Fenrir, Great Winters. You might be able to get unsealed on the fang. I'm not entirely sure. But that's pretty cool. Uh, for the ice, again, drops Fenrir's, Ice Find Fenrir's, Great Winter Fenrir's, and unsealed Great Winter's Fenrir's. So pretty dope ice right there. Make a nice smoothie. Not that it actually does anything to your food. <laughs> Make some really cool unsealed ice walls. Yeah. Um, he also drops Bone Meal of the Enormous Beast and Varying Hard Talons from all the enchants we just saw from him. So, Unsealed, Great Winter, Isofine, and Fenrir are his potential enchants. Neat. Next, we have Fleur, who now, with the April update, has her own island as an open world boss. So, I'm fairly certain you can still find her within a dungeon. Otherwise, you can go to the Blooming or Blossoming or uh, Cherry Blossom Island, I forgot what it's called, and you can find her dead center. She has potential of dropping Fully Blooming Blossoming Fleur's Logs, which can be pretty nice for making a, a good Paladin or Priest for your team for heal's sake, or maybe just to assist with making a different magic build to your tweaks. And the Blossoming Fleur's Straw and Fully Blooming Blossoming Fleur's Straw. We also get the petals, fully blooming, blossoming fleur, and her token, of course. So, neat. And last but not least, guys, we have the Tyrant Snake, who gives us the opportunity of Cruel Devouring Tyrant. So, Devouring's neat, it gives you a passive skill, Gluttony, which ups your crit chance as you eat more. The Cruel is a pretty decent enchant with upping your physical crit damage and attack speed. So anytime you up the crit damage rate, that's awesome. And the Tyrants is alright, plus 10 attack, eh. But upping the crit damage rate, again, pretty useful. So, And then I just threw the Needles in here because they go with him. But the Needles are from uh, Mysterious Moving Roots, so really high level moving roots in the jungle or Swinging Roots, I believe, drop the standard needles. And they have the potential and chance of very mobile, magic power carrying root. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, his Fangs, again, Devouring Cruel Tyrant. And he also drops Bone Meal the Enormous Beast, as well as a token. I will let y'all know as soon as I find out what the tokens are for. So yeah. A quick spoiler warning for you guys, just want to let you know on some potential bosses that are coming to the game. Don't know which update they'll be coming to, but we've seen them in game files and their models in game. So we have a Cyclops, a Phoenix, a giant Tremor Earthworm thingy, a giant tree beast creature, and a Kraken. So there may be more coming, but that's what I know is in game files and I've seen actual models for. So yeah, I'm excited. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for getting an idea of what kind of materials each boss drops and the potential enchants at the highest level island that they drop. So keep in mind, this is a level seven island that all these materials dropped and we were using sin potions and revive scrolls to make the farm much quicker on us. You can learn more about those in the Anubis video, how to conquer hell. So uh, level five islands will drop the scrolls and level six and level seven islands will drop sin potions. Scrolls will revive the boss immediately. Sin potions will increase the loot drop rate of enchanted items. So yeah, pretty nifty. Um, other than that guys, if there's any other enchants, materials, or builds that you would like to see made or need help discovering or would just like to share with the community, you can join the Discord or the Gilded, share it with the crew, or hey, drop some comments below and I'll do my best to make a video and get back to y'all on that. So thanks for tuning in everybody. Good luck, enjoy the ride, and I'll catch y'all at some point. Peace out y'all.